Little wins, right? Yeah. Like, I did it, and there's Tom. Yeah. Here, play. Welcome to Retired Time Productions. Hi, this is Dave from Retired Time Productions, and welcome to my DJI Mavic Flight School. This is where I learned to fly the drone, and you helped me. Now, along with the instruction manual, I have this book here that I got online on Amazon. It's called The Drone Camera Handbook. And I'm going to start with that, and of course, the Mavic instruction manual, to try out my first flight off the back porch and test out auto takeoff and auto landing with return to home. And then we'll play with some of the camera settings while we're doing it, like the gimbal angle and the exposure settings, shutter speed, and just see how some of those other items work just for practice. Well, let's see here. The first thing I need to do is remove the hood right here. Let's pull out this little plastic piece. Uh, I noticed that. That's one of the things that's on my checklist. So here's my checklist. I can go down through here and just read off what I got to do. I intend to put it over here on the patio table. I've got a piece of cardboard there to cut down on the reflectivity of the glass and a rubber mat for it to land on. So I'll just go ahead and turn on the controller first. Tap and then tap again and hold. So Cat, so the controller's now on. Now I've got to put the Mavic out on the table and turn it on. I'm actually going to go ahead and plug this cable in right here into the lower middle on the controller. So plugging my tablet into the lower middle port. All right, and then that launches the DJI Go. But I have a choice here because I have drone pan on here too. So pick the DJI Go 4 and just once. Okay, now we'll pick the Go Fly button. Okay, now we'll check to make sure everything's normal here. So we got the latest firmware. Make sure we got enough satellites. We'll get into that in a minute. Okay, let's go ahead and just cancel out of this. Compass is calibrated, latest firmware, everything looks good. We can adjust the light settings if we want to. I'm gonna put it on one thousandths of a second shutter speed and 100 ISO true color. And I think I'm going to start inside the porch here, where it's safe, and then I'll go out if it gets into a good hover. All right, let's start the launch by pressing this button. Swipe to confirm. Okay, there it goes up. Looks like a good hover. Uh, I'm actually, when I do the touch the screen, you can actually focus like that, do an autofocus. All right, let's pan over here a little bit, and let's take it up in the air, moving the left stick up. And I can already see there's some people out on the golf course there. Okay, let's just move forward a little bit with the right stick. So it's moving out there. I'll kind of keep it here over the yard for now, just looking around. So let's pan over this way. I'm going to get back here in the shade a little bit. So let's pan over this way a little bit. Just looking at the T. That way. All right, let's just move sideways a little. I'm moving the right stick to the left. Looking down at the T. I don't see anybody at that T. So let's move over that way. 
Now with the left wheel I can actually tilt the gimbal. So if I move the, the wheel counterclockwise the gimbal looks down. I'm moving up just a little. I am seeing looks like some activity down there. Yeah, there's some people moving around down there too. It looks like. Yeah, so we don't want to go over there. Alright, so it looks like quite a few people out on the golf course today. I see some just about everywhere. So let's go ahead and move back towards home. So I'm just going to flip around here. Now, let's move the gimbal down a little more. So there's me. I don't know if you can... Let me adjust the right wheel again. Let's see if I can get it. There. There. Now you might be able to see me waving right there. So I'm using that wheel to manually adjust the shutter speed. And if I look down a little more, I can actually look straight down. Let's see where I am. Alright. There's the end of the golf cart path. I'm kind of over the end of the golf cart path. I don't know if you can see that in this camera. I'll try to move this camera up. And you might be able to see it. Okay, let's go ahead and return to home. I'll just go ahead and push return to home. We'll come back a little bit. So holding the right button on the controller that looks like a home button. I don't know if you can see this in the camera, but right here, this button. Go home. And after it says go home, you can let go. Okay, here it comes back. And I'm just watching on the screen here. So here it comes over the porch. It's right directly overhead. I can see the mat down there. Now it's going to turn in the orientation it was when it took off. And now it's going to lower itself down. Looks like it's going to land right on the roof, doesn't it? But not really. It's headed for that mat. All right, let me turn the turn the camera down here. Camera down, about like that. Okay. Now there's the mat. It's not stopping. It's going all the way, and it made it. So that's pretty close to home there. It didn't actually ask me to confirm or anything. So now I'm going to push, push the right wheel, or the left wheel, to the right. Left wheel clockwise to move the gimbal back up. And there we are. And I can adjust this shutter speed some more. And it gets brighter as I go back to 1 over 1,000 right there. So that's just a first test off the back porch. Looked like it worked pretty good. And I'm going to go ahead and shut off the quad. That's the thing you have to do first. Okay, I learned a few things while I was up there, and you can help me if you know anything I was doing wrong. But I did learn to use the record button either on the screen or this button right up here, which you can press to stop and start the recording. Also use the gimbal tilt wheel, which is this wheel right here. And I use the shutter speed button right here. Also, of course, I use return to home, which was this button. And then there were features on the tablet itself that you saw me use. So if this was helpful, let me know and I'll do another one. I'd like to do a little further flight next time and try out more of the settings. Just let me know what you'd like me to do next. Leave a comment under the video. So if you're interested in this book, 
I'll leave a link to it in the video description, and I think I can even put a code under there for a 10% discount if that interests you. And there are quite a few things in the book that have to do with the DGI series drones, including screenshots of the Go app and things like that. But it is a camera aerial photography book, basically. And I've been doing quite a bit of reading on it. So this next section I'm looking on is preparing to shoot. But anyway, there it is. We'll see you later. Here,